Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to save disk space in Windows 11 25H2. What we're going to do in this video works basically on any Windows 11 version and even on Windows 10. But of course, we're talking about the latest Windows 11 version. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to save disk space by disabling hibernation in our operating system. So you may be asking, what is Windows hibernation? It is something pretty similar with the sleep option inside Windows 11. I think we've all used the sleep option before, but the difference between the sleep and the hibernate options are that when you're using the hibernate option, all the information from your system, the CPU information, RAM and all that is saved into a file in your local disk C or your Windows partition. And that file can have from 5 gigabytes up to 30, even 40 gigabytes, even more on different cases. And this highly depends on what you were doing on your operating system, how old the operating system is and so on. So that is basically 5 to 10 to 15 percent from your disk size in most cases and I think it would be useful if we would disable it if we don't use it of course and if we want the extra space. So before showing you anything if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Other things that you need to know about hibernation is that this feature is not available on any computer. It is mostly a laptop specific feature but some computers also have it. So if you want to check that out and if you want to start the disabling process if you don't use this hibernation thing. We're gonna of course use the Windows 11 operating system to do all the steps. But first of all, let me show you using a third-party tool, for example, WizTree I have here, and let's see how this hibernation file looks, where it is located, and more info about it. So of course, we're gonna select from here our partition, our Windows partition, which is local disk C. Let's click on scan, and it will scan all our files and see what are the biggest files from this partition. Most likely, you're gonna notice here a certain number of files in C that are big and if you expand this you should see the hibernation.sys file. This is the hibernation file. In my case it has around 6.3 gigabytes but in your case it can have as I've said up to 30 40 gigabytes easily depending on what information is stored in this file. Also if you're going to file view and then let's search for it hibernation.sys we can also right click on it and see more properties. You can see that this file has this location. It is a system file and of course this means that we cannot just delete it from our system. We have to disable this feature and then of course this file will be gone from our operating system. But one interesting fact is that in my case this file occupies 6% of my partition. If it's bigger in your case it maybe is a bigger percentage even. So now let me show you how to disable hibernation. First of all open up the search box type in here control panel and we're gonna open up the old control panel from Windows and then we're gonna scroll down a bit to power options click on power options and then click on choose what the power buttons do and then change settings that are currently unavailable. You can see here that hibernation is also showing up in the power menu. We can disable this and then click on save changes and then we're gonna have to open up PowerShell. Just open up the search box yet again, type in here PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. And on user account control of course click on yes here in PowerShell we're gonna have to run one single command and that is power cfg space slash hibernate off. Then press enter and we should be good to go. To double check if this feature is actually turned off, we can also run an additional command which is power cfg space slash available sleep states. Then press enter and you should see here that hibernation has not been enabled. So this means that we've successfully disabled hibernation. Now I'm going to open up WizTree again and let's see if that hibernation file is still there. Let's scan our local disk C and what we're going to notice is that we now have only 14 files and hiberfile.sys is no longer here so we've saved some extra space in our operating system inside the Windows partition. So I think this is a cool simple way of saving up more space inside your operating system as I've said especially on laptops and on computers that support hibernation and if you want to do it for yourself of course you can also check out the article below in the video description for all these steps explained in detail. Also please let me know below in the comments if you've known about hibernation and that it uses quite a lot of space from your Windows partition. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.